standing by for physical separation. No. Yes. Push. Uh, the timer is on. Very good. We are watching vehicles separating. The dock. We can. Undocking confirmed at 9:56 p.m. Central Time. Objects uh, on the docking interface. Undocking occurring over southern Russia near the Mongolian border, right on time. The trip home for Romanenko, Duena, and Thirsk begins to the snowy steppe of Kazakhstan. Yes. No foreign objects, uh, and uh, we continue our separation. The attitude is nominal, 180. Houston, Huntsville, Munich, Scuba, and Moscow. The crew of uh, KMR 15 has physically left the International Space Station. Over the last days, we had many occasions to thank everybody who worked uh, with us, but uh, we, of course, forgot to thank our families, our wives, our kids, our friends who have supported us over the last four or five years or oh, ten years during training and who were unconditionally along our side during the six months in training. Brenda, Julia, Lena, we love you. Thank you very much for all your support. Thank you very much and see you soon on the ground. Thank you very much. And uh, we are very glad that we had a very good time together with position 20, 21, and right now 22. And both also agree with us. Thank you very much to you guys, to our friends, the support team, and to the CC, Houston, Moscow, Milken, also uh, JAXA, Canadian Space Agency. Thank you very much, guys. The uh, voices of uh, Frank Dewina and Roman Romanenko thanking uh, all of the control centers and their families for all the support uh, offered over the course of the last half year during their time on board the International Space Station. Dewina, of course, uh, served uh, for about six weeks as commander of the International Space Station, the first European Space Agency astronaut to do so. Three, two, one. Yes. Depot on. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. We're waiting for 12 seconds. Three, two, one. Yes. Thank you. Depot off. Copy. Everything is nominal. We're waiting for minute seven. Copy. Here in the uh, flight control room, the visiting vehicle officer reports that the separation burn has now been completed. You can see uh, a great view of the International Space Station uh, as it uh, recedes uh, from the view of the Soyuz spacecraft. The, space, the Soyuz continues to back away and will for the next uh, two orbits to a safe distance away from the complex for its deorbit burn that will begin its 50-minute journey back uh, to its landing site on the steppe of Kazakhstan, northeast of the town of Arkalik. All right, uh, that's a big station. Goodbye station. Bye, guys. Yes, big and beautiful. Bye. We can see in the service module. Roman Romanenko, the Soyuz commander, strapped in the center seat of the Soyuz's descent module, uh, saying goodbye to Jeff Williams and Max Sereyev, who are now the Expedition 22 crew on board the complex. A week ago, there were 12 
astronauts and cosmonauts on board uh, the International Space Station with the shuttle Atlantis in tow uh, before uh, it uh, concluded its joint mission with the station. Today, two crew members on board the International Space Station for the first time since July 2006. As far as uh, 40 star, page 84, display can be, should dis the display be activated? No, not yet, do it on MCC Go. Yes, we will stand by then with the display. Right in the uh, center of the crosshairs and the Soyuz camera view, is the uh, European Columbus module that Frank DeWinna spent uh, quite a bit of time uh, conducting experiments in. It is attached uh, to w uh, one side of the Harmony connecting node. On the other side, of course, the Japanese segment of the International Space Station, the Kibo module and its associated external uh, experiment uh, platform equipment to which uh, Soichi Noguchi, the oncoming Japanese astronaut who will spend six months on the complex, will be spending quite a bit of his time once he arrives on board December 23rd. Yes, I have uh, three zeros, copy. And uh, indicator for descent. Roman Romanenko uh, commenting just a moment ago how big the station was from his view, seeing it uh, for the first time since he approached the complex uh, back on May 29th. Again, uh, the Soyuz TMA-15 undocking on time at 9.56 p.m. Central Time as uh, the International Space Station flew 220 miles over southern Russia near the Mongolian border.